Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for mCreator. Uh, today what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be learning a little bit about uh, the JSON format and how to uh, edit and make some changes. Uh, this is going to be probably a one to two part um, video series just to kind of cover the basics and help you guys understand how the format and everything works. So we're just going to use some vanilla Minecraft examples to uh, demonstrate some of this. So we're going to go into my Minecraft folder, or Minecraft files folder, and then we're going to select 1.14. And then we're going to select assets, I think, Minecraft, nope, the other one. So if you go back and then go to data, Minecraft, and then there's a loot tables uh, format and then we're going to go and select uh, chests and what we're going to do is we're going to go with a starter chest uh, if we go and click on the uh, spawn bonus chest right down here uh, we can open it with a document editor i suggest if you have windows uh, notepad plus plus there's also a few other different tools on my website that you can use that are basically the same thing so i'm just going to open it with that i already have a um, window open that we can see so if i expand that all right so as you can see it's a uh, pretty long code uh it's Probably not exactly what you're going to see. I have a theme on right now just to make it a little bit easier to see what uh, everything's going on. Now, um, the first thing that I should probably explain is this first um, curly bracket right here is basically encasing the, the an entire document. So if we scroll down all the way to the bottom and then scroll all the way to the top again, as you can see that it's uh, selecting the uh, curly bracket up here. So it's going all the way down to here, as you can see. So that's basically how the main bracket works. All your code needs to be inside this bracket. Um, then usually there's a few other uh, components to make up the files. So for this particular file, um, there's another uh, type of um, variable so these parts right here are variables and on the other side of the colon is the um, setting per se so in this case it's uh, the type of loot table it's targeting the minecraft chest so this would be an id for the minecraft chest and then it, there's always a comma after the, uh, the setting itself to continue the line of code. So there is some exceptions where there isn't um, a comma. For example, if we go down to the pools and then go to entries, as you can see, there's a comma here, but there isn't a comma here. That's because the end of the bracket starts here. You'll also see uh, commas at the end of brackets as well. So if you we click on that one, you can see it continues to that one, but this one doesn't have a comma because it's at the end of the, the actual entry itself. So that's kind of the proper formatting. Numbers don't need quotations, only uh, text-based items like IDs and stuff like that. Um, so, Basically, all you really need to do, uh, if you want to add a, say, a setting or something like that, what you want to do is you want to select, uh, find the bracket that it belongs to, like this, and then what you would do is copy that and kind of go in space and then paste it. Make sure that your entry back bracket is always in the same spot. It wouldn't matter too much, but it's good organization and then you can change how you want it to basically function so for example item uh, the type is a minecraft item we can change this to say a diamond uh, axe and then have uh, the weight of this to say one and that will make it a little bit more rare and um, 
think that's proper. Yeah, because that was the older one. So then we want to update this one as well. So diamond axe, so like so. So that's basically just a quick overview on how to basically add some roles and stuff like that for loot tables. Um, the only other thing that I can possibly think to explain is just make sure to save it when you're finished. I'm not going to actually save this because uh, we don't need, I usually keep that example folder for the, um, for references and stuff like that. Another thing that you might want to do is for models as well. So if I go back to say my uh, 1.12 point folder text or that Minecraft and then models. And if we click on the uh, block, all the blocks in the game and some of these are inherited uh, by default to certain models with most of the settings. For example, uh, block right here has all the display settings. Um, as you can see, it has a start and funk start uh, bracket bracket and ending bracket up at the top here um, the main setting is called display and then inside that display it has its settings so GUI ground uh, fixed these are all other settings that you can basically set and then these are the settings for those settings so you can kind of understand a little bit easier that there's a little bit of an indent before, after um, the actual main setting, and there's always a bracket, a curly bracket, or sometimes, depending on the type of setting, there might be a square bracket. Uh, rarely will you um, need to adjust that, just make sure you have the right brackets and use the proper commas. So for example, if we were going to add, um, let's see if I don't have a regular block file or something I can use um, okay so I have created a basic um, a very basic uh, block bench model so a lot of the basic models that you might have in the future um, or currently that uh, doesn't have proper block display settings now if we go back to the block uh, code from vanilla minecraft this code right here what we could do is actually update the display settings for this particular block that I just created. Uh, we already have the texture files per se in place. Um, usually there is a um, actual texture for these here. Just ignore that. We're just basically going to be adding the display setting. So because the setting doesn't have a comma after this, what we're going to want to do is make sure the comma is added in a respectable place. So we're just going to copy all that. And then what we're going to do is go control C. And then what we're going to want to do is go to the top of the document and then space it out until we get to that part. Control V to paste. And now because the uh, bracket down here is connecting to a continue the code, what we need to do is make sure we put a comma and the code's in place. So we don't need to do any more than uh, basically just save it and uh, make sure to use this particular file for our display settings and stuff. So that's basically how you render it as a regular block, like a diamond block or pretty much any block that's just a solid cube. Um, there's other settings in the um, folder uh, that you can actually view. So if we click on any particular block, like uh, for example, if we click on, let's say stairs, Acacia stairs, uh, we can see that the parent uh, is targeting the um, block stairs. And then what we want to do is go back to here. And then we want to go and scroll down until we find block stairs. So if we keep going down, it shouldn't be too far. B, 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 L, M, block, block, uh, or no, it's just stairs, pardon me. So block would be the folder. Block up here is the folder that we're in and we're looking for stairs. So that's further down where S is. So if we scroll all the way down, uh, we'll come across S, 
st uh, st stairs right here and then we open up this folder and then we can see that it also inherits uh, the block um, thing that we just had open right over here. So these are the same settings that it uh, uses. As uh, far as I know, there isn't any other major changes. For um, models particularly, uh, elements are your cubes, textures are your uh, main settings and uh, these this uh, stairs actually has some extra display setting um, changes as you can see it has some head uh, rotations um, third-person hand changes and but it still inherits it from the block properties or block model folder which is of course this one here so um, other than that uh, that's just a quick overview of how uh, to basically change things in um, JSON file uh, format. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to ask them on my Discord channel and um, I'll be happy to help you. It's pretty easy stuff. You're not, don't worry if you mess anything up, it will probably just not work. Um, I haven't had any issues where um, the code that I've inputted from making mistakes or anything like that has impacted my performance from a computer. Most chances it will just give you a um, rendering glitch or something like that, depending on what part of the file that you're working with. Um, but other than that, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and uh, click the little silver bell if you haven't already to stay notified. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.